This is 2020. Welcome everyone. The first of two videos today was published on April 25th, 2020 and was inspired by NRIM's wife during a debate with FTFE and Team Skeptic last April. That brought to mind CC's wife and the Morgyle's wife. So I thought I would put them together in one video for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy! or instinct it is that can govern the forming of human flesh and blood out of thin air is well, it's fantastically powerful, beyond any comprehension. Brian. Yes, sir. I am, yes, sir, Craig. I am a qualified nuclear, electrical, and mechanical engineer trained by the military. So Run I've done fucking plenty. Before. I've done yeah. plenty. I'm gonna tell you, he's an engineer because she did it all as one. What was that, your, um, your, your, your Oh, said? God. Where'd you stop this bullshit? <sighs> Please bring on Mrs. Bobo so she yeah. can properly convey her thoughts as well. Is she drunk as well, uh, Bobo? Is Mrs. Bobo drunk too? We're gonna to call you Bobo. You, you and do her know you're Bozo. supposed to use that. Is Bozo drunk, Bobo? Your hands, right? you, you're not it supposed to drink this fault. stuff. Yes, it is. Yeah, Whatever you're about to say, yes, it is. Everything's your fault at this point. Your wife's misery, bridges collapsing, all of it. Oh God, <laughs> bridges collapsing. <laughs> I'd like to bend you over and buff up. I'm sure you'd like to bend me over. I've heard that before. Wow, is it? Hey, did you did you guys expect to get some drama today? Hey, <laughs> hey, Bobo, let me ask you: sorry, when you filled out your sorry, job application, Bobo, I didn't mean to when you say filled that, out your Bobo. job application, listen, Bobo, it, when I you filled out your job, job application, application, did it even bother you asking you? How did you hey, get your construction job? Did they just look at you and go, "Yeah, you look like you can hit a, a, a hammer still to a nail"? Fill out job application. Get this fucking idiot off. He's gonna destroy your channel. I don't even fucking um, feel hot. I do this full time. So anymore. I do this I full time. I've been on a job application Bobo. for 20 years. I'm a union fucking iron worker. They call me to go to work. <laughs> so you're basically I you're, a temp. Your wife you're a temp. They you're asked me to go to work, you dumb fuck. You listen. Shouldn't you give me like five minutes? No, you've had the all morning, and I'm just freezing and I'm hungry. And I'm Listen, you just described what a temp is. They call you up and they call your thing and say, Hey man, we need one of your temporary employees to come down here and hit a couple of fucking nails with a hammer. You got anybody in mind? And he said, he looks at the other guy and goes, Is Bobo available today? And then the other guy looks at the other guy and goes, Bobo's always available to hit fucking hammers to nails. Yeah, he, he hits hammers oh, good. You're a temp. That's how this is. You're a, temp. Guess... You're a temp that pays to be in the temp agency. That's fucking stupid. Why don't you just go get a regular you're... temp job? You're a chimpanzee. I mean, could you imagine hey, him on, as a Craig. secretary? Why could you imagine you trying fucking... to like, book Why... Craig, a hair appointment or something with him? Craig. Craig. Let's let yeah, exactly. Let's think about other jobs that he'd be Why really bad at. Could you imagine him at McDonald's? No, I want... Extra cheese on the burger. What the fuck are you doing? No, I don't want my fries coated yeah. in pepper. Stop. You're really this one-sided, Craig. This is only gonna show it. You're the fucking reason that automation is coming to fucking our society, Bobo. 
you and Bozo and your Babonian offsprings. Can we have a chat with your wife? Go ahead, go talk. We'll be nice. Yeah, like, no it. sex. I will not say anything sexually attacking her at all. We're just going to no, attack I her intelligence. That, but ask her anything you want. Ask her anything you want. But you won't get up and you won't go to work. And that's <laughs> Yeah. I like that lady. If my actual wife is back, to try to tell her that I'm live streaming. But oh my god, hold on. Oh my. Hey, I'm live streaming. John is a Okay, so that is the demon that uh, inhabits the body, formerly occupied by my wife. Y'all are my damn witness because this thing has been. Sorry, y'all. This thing has been uh, threatening me with all kinds of nastiness, so. Really? You're going to talk about me on YouTube? No, no, no. Uh, you just. John's wanted in three places. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, Bozo, has you. now been renamed to Princess you know Peach. Funny, That's Princess you know Peach in the background. You treat her with respect, Bobo. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Bitch, I'm a. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Team, I'm dead. <laughs> this is Me a pretty good fucking conversation, even though it's not a debate. So, um... He gets money for Chris, and he gives it to Bebo. Okay. The heroin. Hey, where, which way are you going? Because I'm going the other oh, way. Oh, no, no. I'm going to follow I'm on your fucking heels. Wow. I'm not going to be ignored. Anything else you want to say to the people on YouTube, Demon? <laughs> Dude, no, like seriously, I am freaking out. I'm scared, Jimmy. You play fair with me? I'll play fair with you. Like, I won't even go in the house with whoever that is. It's really weird. I know you would think it was fucking crazy, right? But, um, yeah, man, like, last night, we're just, uh, everything was cool. We had a great day. We had an, actually a good long conversation on Labor Day. Oh, god damn, here it comes again. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so, so anyway, this topic, okay, the whole mud flood, Tartaria, uh, Idiot. The Phoenicians. Hey, please don't heckle me on my live idiot, stream, idiot, Demon. Idiot, idiot. Why did you stop this bullshit? Oh, I Crackhead, meth head, heroin head. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Yeah. Yeah, all those things. Asshole. She know, she she reads the the rumors. Really? Dude. Okay. So, uh, she's gonna slam the door on me. God, no, you do that to me. That's why you went to jail. Oh, my God. Wow, this is fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, you guys. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, word to the wise, don't get it. Just saying. Okay, so, the, uh, this whole thing really, you know, we've all been aware of this pre-ancient, pre-Diluvian uh, civilization that had just fantastic, phenomenal technology, architecture, um, definitely different technology. And I think that one of the main things that they used differently was um, certainly free energy, which is evident by the, uh, the structures that they build and the sort of the function of these ancient structures. Um, but, oh, that's tapping is very annoying. Uh -huh. So, um, also... Dude, would you please fucking stop that, please? Shouldn't you give me like five minutes? No, you've had the all morning, and I'm just freezing, and I'm hungry, and I'm just... I'm just in the house. Dude, do you see this demon? Like, what the fuck? This, that is not, that is like not my, that is not my wife, seriously. I mean, it looks like her, but it is something else inside. Like, I'm not bullshitting you guys. I told you if you mentioned my name on that YouTube that I was. I'm live streaming and you're over there tapping on my window yeah, with the key. The door locked. Trying to get the clothes out. I had the locked. door locked because Turn that off, right? I don't want you real close to me. So can you please back away, please? 
Like seriously, like back away. You've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Okay. Well, can I please have some privacy? Okay. Dude, I'm going to keep trying to trudge along through this, um, but it is kind of difficult. But what was I talking about? What the fuck was I talking about? So, well, no, I do have some distractions, but I will manage. Okay, so just starting with a sort of fresh thought, um, the, I, I think we can really divide this into two main categories when you're talking about the architecture. Um, definitely have some... Uh, consistent qualities of the architecture in the pre-Diluvian, so the super ancient or the pre-ancient stuff, which is the, you know, the super big blocks that appear to be uh, hewn solid stone, like, uh, solid stone, like either limes. Listen to me. Please listen. If you don't, if you won't, if you fail to understand, then the same incredible terror that's menacing me will strike at you! <laughs> The second video is from Multi Tom Tom and was published on May 20th, 2020. No, it is not one of his rapping reggae videos. I can be cruel when I want. I am a mom and wife after all, but I am not that cruel. Besides, those are considered cruel and unusual punishment and are not allowed under the Geneva Convention. This video is more of a puff piece. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's been two months and things are starting to get back to normal. Well, as normal as it can be, but I should say routine. So I am getting back in the routine of making debunking videos as well as my Minecraft videos on my Global Mom Plays channel. Ah, it feels good, you know. I'm enjoying this. Okay, today I am tackling Multi Tom Tom. I thought it was about time that his brand of stupid got my full attention. As you guys know, MSN is a great source of news, entertainment and science. MSN is no more a source of news, entertainment, and science than YouTube is. Both are simply platforms that present content from other sources and creators. I was perusing MSN and I couldn't believe two articles that were out of this world. Ha! <laughs> out of this world. Good one, Multi Tom Tom. The first one is taken from Science Alert and the title is Astronomers Confirm the Existence of Planets that Have the Lightness of Cotton Candy. I'm sorry Multi Tom Tom, but can you please read that headline again? I don't think I heard a laugh of amusement come out of your voice. Let me read that. Headline game. <laughs> Astronomers confirm the existence of planets that have the lightness of cotton candy. Ah, there it is. And the article, uh, article is written by Michelle Starr. Good on you, girl. Oh, just look at that picture. Beautiful sun beautiful planets looks so realistic mm, beautiful of course it's an artist's rendition we don't know exactly what that planet looks like however we can extrapolate what it might look like from the data given to us and by the way 
Can we see a real picture of the flat Earth and not an artist rendition or cartoon, please? I mean, our planet is right here. Why don't we have a picture of the flat Earth from the top of the dome or the, t the firmament? Why do we not have a picture of the entire flat Earth? Just asking. Uh, look at the light is shining onto that planet. Oh my God. Again, artist's rendition. And either you don't believe that's how sunlight behaves or you jizzed yourself with your personal incredulity. Either way, not my problem. Anyway, <clears throat> let's read the article. No two planets in the solar system are exactly alike, but we can broadly categorize them. Rocky world, Earth, Venus, Mercury, Ma and Mars. Gas giants, Saturn and Jupiter. Ice giants, Neptune and Uranus. And dwarf planets like Pluto and Ceres. That sounds pretty diverse, but astronomers have just made a detailed study of a fascinating type of planet we don't have. Super puff worlds. <laughs> Super puff worlds. <laughs> oh God, I'm going to like this article. Yes, super puffs. But the article does state why further down, so please continue reading. Of all the exoplanets our efforts have uncovered to date, only a handful, less than 15, have been puffy. <laughs> oh God. These three young planets seen orbiting a star around 2,600 light years away. 2,600 light years. Huh? I wonder how many parsecs that is. Mm, I don't know. I'm not very good at maths. Anyway, uh, seen orbiting a star around 2,600 light years away are almost the size of Jupiter but have less than 1% of its mass. That means they have spectacularly low density. In fact, they're the puffiest planets ever seen. <laughs> With a density lower than 0 0.1 grams per cubic centimeter. In press statements, the texture of these planets are being likened to corn candy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let me read that again. <laughs> In press statements, the texture of these planets are being likened to corn candy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't be serious anymore. <laughs> A, that article was written for people like you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm giving them too much credit. I mean like me and others who understand it better. So we could visualize what things may look like. And B, were you ever serious? This is an extreme example of so cool about exoplanets in general, said exoplanet scientist Zachary Berta Thompson of the University of Colorado Boulder. They like to be called UC Boulder. Okay, no problem. I think we need to speed him up just a tad, don't you? They give us an opportunity to study worlds that are very different than ours. But they also place the planets in our own solar system into a larger context. I see. The three planets orbiting a star called Kepler-51 were discovered in 2012, but it wasn't until 2014 
that the strangely low, low density was discovered. Okay, so so it took two years to to d discover the strangely low density. No problem. Now, using observations taken with the Hubble Space Telescope, a team of astronomers has revealed what is happening with the planet's atmospheres. The Kepler Space Telescope located exoplanets using the transit method, that is, the dimming of the light of a star when a planet passes between the telescope and the star, in what is known as a transit. We call it twinkling of a star. The atmosphere makes the stars twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The other, also, uh, the other awesome thing about transiting exoplanets is that when they dim the star's light, some of it gets filtered through the exoplanet's atmosphere, if it has one. So you can look at a spectrum of electromagnetic wavelengths from the star when the planet both is and isn't transiting. Because certain molecules block certain wavelengths, these absorption lines on the spectrum can be read to infer the chemical composition of the atmosphere. And there we have the, an artist's rendition of Kepler-51 planets compared to solar system. Oh, look how beautiful the colors are. I uh, particularly like the, uh, the pink one on the right, Kepler-51d. What a beautiful planet. Very nice indeed. Congratulations to the, uh, to, to the uh, artist. Bravo, my man, bravo. It's nice to know that you appreciate an artist's work, Multi Tom Tom. And yes, they are very beautiful. This is what the researchers did to analyze the atmospheres of Kepler 51b and 51d. But when they got the results back, the atmospheres were concealed by an opaque layer at high altitude. Mm, and how the f would you know that? According to NASA's Hubble site, the Hubble Space Telescope can view objects in more than just visible light, including ultraviolet, visible and infrared light. These observations enable astronomers to determine certain physical characteristics of objects, such as their temperature, composition and velocity. There you go, Multi Tom Tom. The more you know. Is it 2,600 light years away? Okay. It definitely sends us scrambling to come up with what we, what could be going on here, said planetary scientist Jessica Libby Roberts of UC Boulder. We expected to find water but we couldn't observe the signatures of any, of any molecule. Oh my God, Multi, no, just no. Don't ever do voices again. So they turned to computer simulations. Sorry? So they turned to computer simulations to see what sort of atmospheric conditions could produce something like the super, pu super puffs, super puffies. Overall, very low density, but wrapped in an opaque shell. And the best fit turned out to be an atmosphere that was mixture of hydrogen and helium with an altitude layer, layer of methane. Again, how the f would you know that? 2,600 light years away, you morons. I guess it bears repeating. So here goes. According to NASA's Hubble site, the Hubble Space Telescope can view objects in more than just visible light, including ultraviolet, visible and infrared light. These observations enable astronomers to determine certain physical characteristics of objects, such as their temperature, composition, and velocity. Hey Multi, if you don't know something, Google is a good place to find it. Really, it is. Try it sometime. You'll be surprised. Why the hell my voice gets so high?
All right, speed up for a tiny bit. I'm getting sick of this guy's voice. And he also does a voice of somebody that's being quoted. So, yeah, let's fast forward a little bit. We've, been, uh, we've seen something like that methane layer before in Saturn's moon Titan. Because of the thick methane layer surrounding Titan, we didn't get a direct image of the moon's surface until Cassini arrived in 2004. More bullshit. If you hit a methane with ultraviolet light, it will form a haze, Libby Roberts said. It's Titan in a nutshell. The team also discovered that these atmospheres are leaking off into space <laughs> at a tremendous rate. I have to read that again. The team also discovered that these atmospheres <laughs> are leaking off into space at a tremendous rate. Okay. That said, could explain why these super puff planets are so rare. Since these strange puffs are so young, <laughs> the corn candy stage could be a temporary stage in their development, and their final planet could be something much more expected. Mini Neptunes, the most common type of planet in the galaxy, and also not found in the solar system. A good bit of their weirdness, Berta Thompson said, is coming from the fact that we are seeing them at a time in their development where we rarely got on the chance to observe planets. Oh, is that it? Okay, a stupid comment to finish with. Well, there you go, folks. Cotton candy planets. What will they think of next? Dun, dun, dun. Let's wait in bated breath. Thank you to all my amazing patrons. Fantarang. Darth Wedgius. Roy, comma, Fraser. C4. And AJ Ravenwolf. Multi, I have been in live chats with you many, many times. You have told me my name triggers you. Gee, I don't know why. It's just a freaking word for God's sake. Anyway, your personal incredulity gets in the way of your comprehending perfectly good evidence, which, you know, evidence is a foreign word to, to people that believe in uh, the flat earth because they don't have any. Please, we have, there's technology. Uh, let's see a picture of the entire flat earth, of the ice wall, of this elusive dome or the ferment that prevents people and rockets from getting into space if you believe in that or you don't believe in that. I don't give a care. But show us something other than la 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 la, plugging my ears, la 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 la. It is old and tiresome and we resort to pointing and laughing because that's all we can do. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Oh, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. It is always fun looking back on videos from the past. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.